It could be the future of lighting. Someday our ceilings and walls might radiate light, illuminating indoor spaces as brightly and evenly as natural daylight. It will be just a sheet of light that you can wrap around whatever you like. These little glowing wafers are called Luma Blades. They come in red, white, blue, or green for anyone who wants to pay nearly $100 per square inch. Philips Electronics is making Luma Blades available to consumers for experimentation purposes. But the science behind the technology is anything but elementary. We have the, the, the molecules, the functional molecules, which are like a powder, and we fill them into a kind of a little stove thing. And then we have the glass sitting in front of that in a, in a high vacuum. So there's nothing in the chamber but just the glass in front of that stove. And we heat up the powder and then a thin layer of these molecules forms on the glass plate. And then we just have multiple uh, combinations of materials and multiple layers. And that's basically it. So that's how it's no OLED is made. OLEDs, or OLEDs, have a key advantage over traditional lighting. They emit light evenly from a whole surface rather than a single point. That eliminates the need for lampshades, which from an engineering standpoint, creating it and immediately shading it is highly inefficient. An OLED is actually the only light source that creates straightforward diffuse lighting. So it's not a point light source that with the help of a reflector you give shape and you create a spot with, but it's something that emits evenly light over a complete surface. So it actually gives a very soft light effect. Random International, a trio of London-based artists, use more than 1,000 Luma blades to make an art installation called You Fade to Light. As people walk by the structure, a camera and computer turn off the lights on panels opposite the passers-by, mimicking their motion. OLED technology is still in the early stages and Philips isn't trying to win prizes for presentation. Instead, the company hopes that making the technology available now will allow designers, architects and other creative types to start collaborating on early products. Mark Hamrick, The Associated Press.